Welcome. Long time no see. I'm here to move this controller to do an unboxing. A little something different. I was house sitting for a week, so this box has been sitting this whole time waiting for me to open. Now, if you've watched some of my videos, you all know I'm also way into miniatures in addition to video games. So, a little clue as to what we might find in here. Let's see, was it last year? I think it was last year. I forget the name of the service. A Kickstarter-like thing where these things show up. There was a set of miniatures. It was very clearly proxies for a certain faction in Warhammer 40,000. To a point that I was like, Ugh, I should probably get on board with these because I don't know if they'll ever show up again. Because they seem kind of close to me. But I've never heard anything about it, so... Look at this box. This is a huge box. I bought about half of them because it was just so many models. So many models. The value was incredible. Good lord. Don't peek. Don't peek. Don't peek. Alright. Here we go. Now this is the what is this? The Horrors of the Veil War Pack, which is what sold me. This model here in the middle is what sold me. Oh, look at her. It's amazing. And so another cool thing about these is they are all assembled, which you will see a bit later. I'll take some photos or I'll post them at the end here. We will, I think we will open them up here. We don't want any play on the video. We don't play on the video. <sighs> Inappropriate content for my video. Alright, next up is the Veil Touch Armored Carnage Pack. Now, the initial idea for these was to run them as World Leaders. And then the World Leaders Codex came out. And that became problematic because if you look at these guys... These guys are basically possessed, right? Do you know what's not in the World Eaters Codex? Possessed. The 8th Bound are in there. And yeah, I could probably just run them as 8th Bound, but 8th Bound have like equipment choices and stuff that Possessed didn't have. So it becomes a little sticky. I did buy a box of 8th Bound, but I haven't gone around to them. I'm trying, guys. I'm trying. So anyways, I'm rambling here. You know what is in the World Leaders Codex? Terminators and Rhinos. So I added this one on way later. <laughs> At a point, with all the add-ons I did, and adding this on, I was like, I should have just bought the whole set. Like, I spent more than half of the cost of what just the whole set would have been. Because I kept adding add-ons and stuff. Alright. There we go. The Asalian Devour Elite Pack. Look at that. Definitely not a Mauler Fiend. Which is in the World Leaders Code. Oh, we got. Ah, yeah, these guys. Yes, the Veil Scarred Abominations Elite Pack. These are definitely not obliterators. Which are not in the World Leaders Codex. Uh, what else we got? Oh, yeah. The Veil Touched Armor Transport Elite Pack, which has a bunch of cool extra parts here. It looks like you could convert it over into a Predator. Like, this was so long ago, I forgot about most of these things. Uh, they came with it. Like, I kept going back to the page and trying to figure out what exactly I was going to get. And I could never quite remember. Alright. The Heralds of Strach. A lot of interesting guys that I don't really know what to do with. In terms of proxy. 
But they're cool models. It really doesn't matter. Like, it's not like I play that much. Or ever. Ooh. Or ever. And here's the one. Because you got this for free for following the campaign. Lord Tyrak. Ooh. Yes. What else? We got? Oh, yeah. And these three little pieces. These were supposed to be part of the main body, but then because of the way they made them. Like, they did a post about it the other day. They're just little random pieces that go with the things that are not rhinos. But let's open one of these suckers up so I can give you guys a look at it, and then we will uh, switch over to the pictures here. Well, maybe we'll open one of the big ones, too. My Boy Scout knife. Still very sharp because I don't use a knife for anything. Let's open her up here. My Cthulhu kitty. I got this for my birthday. My sister. Oh, what do we got? Set this knife down so I'm gonna stab myself. Here we go. Let's pop her open. So, yes, this is what I'm saying. Building models is my least favorite part about the whole process. I hate it. So that they come. Uh, it's hard to see if the focus is right from here. It probably is not. But we'll do pictures. Dang, he's big too. He's a big boy. I'll take some comparison shots here. He feels large. He feels large and in charge. Dang. All right, man, that's quite the that's quite the set. There's a reason I've been buying way less Warhammer this year in the last past few months is because I knew this was coming. I was like, I better not make this mistake. All right, let's open up the Horrors of the Veil vale pack, and then the rest we can do in sort of a picture format. Here, I just want to show you guys that one model that I am so excited about. My favorite model in the whole range. Here. And they are doing another one, which even though I'm trying to back way off of my miniature purchases, this is just off screen here, is just a shameful amount of boxes. Just multiple stacks here. And stacks of boxes that I need to cut off all the sprues of from one of the stuff I've already painted. Yeah. But I'm too lazy. It's just absolutely shameful here. What is this? How many, how does this end up being? We got this guy. Who's kind of a, I don't know, he's kind of a Lord Discordant. Sort of, we got a couple Demon Princes type guys. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. 19, 20, 21 possessed type dudes. The guy who's sort of a disco lord, maybe a lord on. He's a little too big to be a lord on Juggernaut. I've never seen a disco lord in person, but don't know how he really stacks up to that size wise. Oh, what are they? Yeah, I was watching on a channel I super recommend Play on Tabletop. They were doing uh, Conquest of the Last Argument of Kings, which. Is a game I'd seen them do before, but I never it never really caught my eye. But then I really stopped and took a look at the models while they were playing, and I actually I'm kind of really super interested in it now. But there was one in particular, I believe it was what, called a Bone Golem, that I'm really curious about how that sizes up to say like a Hellbrute. I feel like something a little less dreadnought looking would be a good match. For my Death Guard. My Death Guard are supposed to be like in the lore, more DIY, more procure on site kind of guys. Alright, there's a tray of possessed type dudes. There she is. There she is. Okay, that one, this one does have different parts. This one has some parts. There was some assembly on the uh, on the Disco Lord type dude. Is that it? That's the bottom. Pull this off. 
if we can. There we go. Let's start the show with the showstopper. The model that is responsible for me spending all the money on this. Look at her. Look at her. Goodness gracious. That's a heck of a model. I really like it. It is just great. Just top-notch work, guys. Absolutely great stuff. But anyways, I don't know when they're starting it, but they are doing another one for like a... Um, a more traditional like two different faction packs uh, they said they were gonna do after they shipped these and well as you can see they've shipped them it's like see this is only the only one I've seen so far that really I haven't opened it very much that really requires any sort of assembly but looks like it just slots in here easy peasy well easy peasy for someone smarter than me There's the writer yeah, this is. I won't, uh, won't bore you all getting a good fit on these, but just sort of slot it in there. Back here. Let's see, fit in the box. They're going to sit in the box for a bit. As much as I am trying to catch up on everything, I do want to paint Leviathan first. But I have to finish my Nurgle Demons first, which hopefully will happen this month. I have seven models left somehow. Somehow, coincidentally, I have seven models left. I don't know how I manage that, but I do. And I'm going to do that, and I'll do Leviathan, and then I will do this. So sometime, maybe at the end of next year. Alright, here's a demon. I do have a demon prince to compare these guys to, so maybe we'll get him out. And take a quick comparison. Probably more of a good comparison to be this gentleman right here. This guy right here. Ugh. I wish I had one of those churn tables, because that would make this a lot easier. Is this how he was in here? His hand's kind of sticking out now. I don't know how he was in here. Oh, back in your home. Back in your home, miss. We're not. There we go. Yeah, he's sticking out too far. There we go. There we go. Now he's back there. All right. Well, I won't bore you with the details of me uh, putting this back together. But yeah, I'm really excited for this. It looks, it looks great. Everything looks good. I am, I am pumped. I would love to go through and count the number of models. Maybe we'll add that as an addendum at the end here. Um, and compare it to Leviathan. I'd have to look up how much I paid for both of them. But I definitely got a lot more models here. Like, this, these guys alone are as many models as the Space Marine had of Leviathan. And to throw on so many more. So many big big things and all those terminator like things goodness gracious anyways i was signing off and so uh hopefully we'll get back to game videos here soon i have a plan for something interesting that i may record tonight but probably not but that that's backstage stuff don't worry about that i'm gonna finish this sign off i swear to god i will see you in the future